soil is occupied in nature in so many different forms. In previous video, we have seen that what are the types of soil, what are the origins of soil and different basics of soils and their pictures. Now, if we analyze the different types of soil and check some common things, we can see some phase diagrams in the soil. Let us move and learn index properties, relationships and tests today. Myself channel. Let us discuss in depth soil. Three phase diagram. First of all, if we analyze and find out common things in all types of soils, there are basically three phases of soil are there, which is solids, water and air. In a soil mass, volume of solid particles is maximum. Furthermore, if the soil is fully dry, there will be solids plus air. And if the soil is fully saturated, there will be water plus solids. But in general, a soil mass consists of all three things that is solids, water and air particles. All three particles are blended together to form a complex material that is soil. Let us solve that complex material by analyzing it with three phase diagram. Three phase means these three phases. Let us move further assumptions to understand three phases diagram. Now, the first assumption tells that all the particles are having same size. We have to assume some things like this. All the particles will be of same size, of same density to Soil will be partly dry as well as partly saturated. Air will be having zero weight or will be having no weight. Weight of air is neglected here. And moisture distribution should be uniform throughout the soil. If you are choosing one type of soil, in that soil, every soil particle will have uniform moisture distribution. So these are the assumptions made for three phase diagram and different phase diagrams. Let us move and understand three phase diagram. Soils are having different soil properties. We can say index properties. To understand different soil properties or index properties like this, we have to go through three phase diagram of soil. If we take any soil sample in its natural state, there will be three phases, three things found in this. Let us understand them more precisely. Ws means weight of solid particles in that soil mass. Ww that means weight of water in that soil mass. And Wa that is weight of air. Same way we can define some volume characteristics. That is Vs volume of solids. Vw that is volume of water. And Va that is volume of air. So, we can easily measure any soil sample is having weight and volume. After measuring that, we can derive to some index properties. We know that soil can be having three different uh, states like three phase diagram if solid water and air is there. It can be two phase if it is fully dry or fully saturated. So, three conditions are possible. We are seeing first condition that is three phase diagram. It is having solids, water and air all three. Now, new thing that is void. Voids are defined as combination of water and air. I mean in a soil mass except solid particles there is remaining particles there are voids. Voids are often filled by water and air mixture. Let us move and find out total weight and total volume. Here in the figure you can see total weight is equal to Ws plus Ww plus 0. Here Wa weight of air is neglected that is why total weight is comprised of Ws and Ww. Same way if we consider total volume of that soil mass it will be V is equal to Vs plus Vw plus Va. So we are adding all the three components volumes and weights. If we consider about voids then weight of void will be 
comprised of water plus air but here air is having zero weight that is why weight of voids will be weight of water only volume of voids will be governed by volume of water plus volume of air here volume of air will be considered and not neglected so we have to be conscious here now let us move to next phase diagram that is for fully dry condition in winters we speak that my hands are dry my skin is dry now what is fully dry soil condition if there is no moisture in that soil it is fully dry soil generally soil is having somewhat negligible moisture in actual conditions but in theoretical we will understand fully dry and fully saturated both the conditions so now we understand fully dry condition fully dry soil will be having only two phases there will be no water phase or there will be zero moisture so there will be solids and there will be air only let us understand that ws that is weight of solids and wa that is weight of air same way vs that is volume of solids and va that is volume of air so this is two phase diagram for fully dry condition in every soil it is only called fully dry if there is no moisture left now for voids here there is no water so voids are only governed by air so let us check total volume and total weight here total weight is equal to ws that is weight of solids here air is having no weight that is why total weight is governed by only weight of solids and about total volume that is vs plus va here air is having some volume but zero weight so v is equal to total v is equal to vs plus va talking about voids weight of voids will be governed by wa and wa that is zero in assumptions we have learned that weight of air is neglected that is why weight of voids will be zero here because there is no water and air is having no weight now talking about volume of voids that is vv vv is governed by only volume of air so vv is equal to va let us move to next phase diagram that is fully saturated condition first of all what is fully saturated so if the soil sample or soil particles are full of water are filled with full amount of water then it is fully saturated soil condition fully saturated means there is no air there is only water and solid particles here we can see two phase diagram because it is fully saturated that is why let us understand weight of solids by ws weight of w ww weight of water vs volume of solids and vw that is first of all what is fully saturated so if the soil sample or soil particles are full of water are filled with full amount of water then it is fully saturated soil condition fully saturated means there is no air there is only water and solid particles here we can see two phase diagram because it is fully saturated that is why let us understand weight of solids by ws weight of w ww weight of water v s volume of solids and v w that is volume of voids or volume of water talking about voids voids here are comprised of only one thing that is water as in fully dry situation there was only air in the voids here there is only water in the voids let us calculate total volume and total weight talking about total weight total weight will be governed by solids and water both so w capital w is equal to ws plus ww and total volume will be same way governed by 
solids and water both. So V S plus V W is equal to total volume. Talking about voids now. Weight of voids will be governed by water only. So weight of voids W V is equal to W W. And talking about volume of voids. Volume of voids is governed by volume of water only. So V V is equal to V W. So here I end my session up to this phase diagram only. In next video we will learn fundamental definitions of index properties and then we will go to relationships. Thank you.